What's the Chow and Chows? Lantern Joe here. Welcome back to the episode of the Pokemon White Yes Lock. In the last episode, we made it right here to Route 9 after going through the Turbine Bridge and catching Verizion, which turned out to be... What did it turn out to be? Oh, it turned out to, it turned out to be Tornadus. That's it, Tornadus. So that's pretty cool. I'm still thinking of things that I want to do with this team. I will tell you this one thing. In the unlikely event that Shady somehow makes it to the Elite Four, Shady's not part of the team for the Elite Four. <laughs> I just want to mention that right now. In the unlikely event that Shady somehow makes it to the Elite Four, I'm not putting him on the, team, the final team for the Elite Four. I'm not saying he's going to die, and I'm not saying I'm going to kill him. I'm not going to do any of those things, but I'm not going to protect him if it if it came down to it. You know, if that makes sense. Because I kind of need good. I kind of need someone who is good. And someone who can work with me, and someone who has l or is or can learn moves, or is going to learn moves, or has good moves to begin with. Shady is sadly none of these things. Shady has learned all the moves he can, and he learned all those moves that he could at birth. So unless I gave him God tier TMs, which I sadly do not have, or he cannot learn some of the God tier moves I do have. There's not really a lot I can do with him, and this and this scares me. This scares me, and it scares me a lot because I don't really know what to do with him. And I know that, like, I can't. I know this is a nuzlocke, and I do have five other members on the team, so I can just say put him in the back of the party with the experience share on, and then just leave him to it. But that's what I've been doing the entire series. In the Elite Four, I want everyone to work, okay? In the Elite Four, I want everyone to work. Because it's the Elite Four, that's what you do. You have everyone working in the Elite Four. Everyone is on point, everyone is working to win, everyone is trying to make this happen. Not one person... There's no slack up. There's no one person who falls behind and everyone has to accept that person and allow that person to fall behind. No, everyone must work. From the back room to the front room, everyone must work. And that's what I will have people do when it comes to the Elite Four. I don't mind that against gyms, I don't mind that against a rival battle, but I do mind that when it comes to the actual event in question. When it actually comes to go time, I mean, everyone must go, everyone must work, everyone must do whatever they can to get the result. Ignore the fact that BBC decides to just chime in. I don't care. In fact, you know what? Just let me go do this. And I hope that I don't get copyright claims from the BBC for having their folk, they having their num you know, having that chime come in. Because I'm not, you know, it's not my fault I have my sa my phone. I really should turn my phone sounds off when I record. But sometimes I forget. I mean, I'm only human at the end of the day. You know, I'm not this amazing person who remembers all these things that I must do before I start recording. I wish I was. There's a drowsy, there's a drowsy, I need to... Right, guys. Um, I don't care about the Zoa. Right now, I care about the drowsy. Okay, that's cool. So... The fact Drowsy is kind of super effective on my, uh... Oh, 
Okay, maybe I do need to actually care about this thing. Because that did a lot of damage. I mean, I was going to, so I was going to, it was going to die that turn anyway, but that did a lot of damage. It crit shady, and was super effective on punch. So it did a lot of damage. And that's not cool. I mean, we'll, tr we'll try and get to. I mean, if we could get a Rotom today, that'd be awesome. Like, honestly, if I could get a Rotom today, oh my god. I wonder what kind of Rotom form I'd get, because, like, I'd, I mean, I guess I'd have to have one of the uh, actual Rotom forms, but I don't know what one. Because, like, you know, aren't the moves, I guess... I guess that I guess those moves can't be randomized under any circumstances. I think those moves can't be randomized under any circumstances. The moves that change Rotom into forms cannot be changed. As far as I can tell. I think that's how it works anyway. Flamethrower. Ooh, so close. Oh you're not. You missed. Okay. There we go. Route 9 dealt with. Right. So all that's left to do is to get my encounter. My encounter for route number 9 is a... I think I know. I thought I had a Bishop. I guess I don't. All right. Get in the ball. I don't think I can do damage to you since you're 10 levels behind me. I really don't think I can do damage to you. You're 10 levels behind me. I mean, I could try, but I really don't think I'd get anywhere. And I can't bring Shady in because you've got Sky Uppercut. You just proved you have Sky Uppercut, so I can't bring Shady in. A buzz? Oh, I can't hit you again. I got heal. Milk. Milk for shocks. The Sky Uppercut is doing way too much damage. Now it's fine. I mean, you lived on 1 HP, so ball. I can't do status ailments to you. I have nothing for... I have no one for status ailments. There we go. There we go. Um, I'm going to call you Rook. And a K. Okay. I want to kind of see what I would have got in the dark grass. Oh, there's Anarit. Uh, there's Relicant. Okay. I mean, I don't think I would have want that anyway. Relicant is... It's okay. It's an okay fish. It's just not really no, known what it could do. Okay, so dark grass encounters. Minin. Is it Minin or my... Is it Minin or Minin? Either way, 
still, no. Not really interested. Plus or on the other hand would be pretty cool. Hey, a nugget. Cool. Wild, uh, darker grass number counted number two. Electric. Okay. Wouldn't have levitate, so it'd be still weak to ground. Which is the only thing that has levitate, which is the only thing that makes it actually useful. Uh, number three for the dark grass. Well, I definitely don't want that. 100% I can tell you I definitely didn't want that. That would have been awful. I mean, it's a sorry to those people who like Cricketune, but, uh, but it's really comic relief, isn't it? Only strong Pokemon live in this cave. The champion occasionally comes here in training. You are not ready for this challenge. But what if I am ready for this challenge? You don't know who... You don't know that. You are judging me based on your opinions. You think I'm not ready when I can tell you I am ready. Look how far I have come. Look at the fact that I still have Shady in my team despite the fact that Shady sucks. And you tell me I cannot come in. I know that I'm supposed to go there later, but like still. The principle is the principle. Alright, Route 9 Shopping Mall. Or is it Shopping Mall 9? Either way. There's a TM shop up here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Air slash takedown. Not interested. Not interested in any of those TMs. Okay. Hey, he gave me a Thunderstone. I just spammed the A button and just got a Thunderstone. Oh, there's, there's battles in here. I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot there's battles in here. I mean, I'll take a battle. More levels. I will definitely take more levels. I mean, it's a Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Oh, it bit. It, oh, oh, it's lived. And it tried to Magma Storm me. Okay, scary. Not so much, but it tried. It tried. Believe me, it tried to be scary. It's not, but it tried. Um, Jessica? Can you drill a quilla? Can you do a quillava? I'm sure you can. Switch it though. Uh, I guess we're switching items. You obtain my ex. I want my expert belt back. Thank you very much, game. Please say I haven't just lost my expert belt. Thank God. <laughs> okay. How many battles are there in here? A throw. I mean, I have Psy Shock, so I should be okay. I have definitely got Psy Shock, so I'm definitely okay. Use Psy Shock, please. Throws can be kind of scary. Sometimes. Not today. Right, so that's the top floor of Route Number Nine of the Route Nine shopping mall. You're a battle. Okay. I was. I'm doing so many battles today. Uh, 
the noon. I can handle the noon, I think. It's about really about its moves that it, that it has and Pin missile. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, if it hits five times, it's not fine. In any hit twice. Dead the noon. Are you a battle? No. You're not a battle. Are you a battle? You are. Okay. Let's battle you then. Gibble. I had things for Gibbles, and then I decided not to have things for Gibbles. I think I still have something for Gibble. Becky! Yeah, I think Becky still has Ice Fang, so Becky can still use that. Seeds? That's a... I guess that's okay! Yeah. Right now. I'll see. Maybe, maybe it works. There we go. Yes, there we go. Okay. And I have to switch. Uh, Toad? Can you deal with the Aerodactyl, please? I mean, I probably could do with actually, like, go and get some free heals right now, but, like, I have to wait until I'm all done here. And so I can unlock over Lucid City. There we go. Are you a battle? And finally, I've talked to everyone except for you. Okay, right, that's all Shopping Mall 9. This is the Rotom Room. So if I had a Rotom, I could change my form of Rotom here. I don't like the fact that it's towards the end of the game you get the ability to unlock your Rotom forms, but it is here. I would prefer it to be where it like where it is like where it is in Diamond and Pearl actually works out really well. Because it's like Diamond Pearl Platinum, where it works out really well is uh, because the fact is basically well, it's just it's at the very start of a game. It's like the second gym area where Rotom is and where you can change its form is. So it works out really nicely, but like here, not so much. But then again, Rotom is not supposed to be a Pokemon you can obtain in the main series of the, the actual main games of these. Joe! This way! What a liar! This. Despite the spirit will be trying to con everyone on with his speech. That is correct. Our Lord N has combined his powers with the legendary dragon type Pokemon. And intends to create a new world. We have hailed the return of the hero of Unova, the found founder of this region. Pokemon are different from people. They are living beings 
who contain unknown potential. They are living beings who we humans have much to learn from. They are though they are they are beings whose greatness we should acknowledge bring us um, uh, beings who we should be freed from our uh, possession we are team plasma uh, uh, we team plasma invite you to join us all that we uh, we all want to create a new world where people and Pokemon are both free. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you please, release your Pokemon! And so I end my plea today, and I commend this statement to the house. Thank you for your attention. Is it true? Are we really making... Uh, have we really been making Pokemon suffer? Hmm. Maybe we should release our Pokemon like Team Plasma says. No way! Without Pokemon I'd be lonely and sad! We'd all be lonely and sad without Pokemon. What's that speech about? Um, that person, um, he's off the chart strange. Hmm. The cooperation between people and Pokemon is how Unova came to exist in the beginning. If a Pokemon really didn't want to be with humans anymore, they would simply leave. Capturing in a Pokemon in its Pokeball does not mean that you've captured its heart. Let's go, Joe! It's been too... It's been too long, Iris and Trayden. Oh, um, Mr. Older, um, and you're that guy that helped me out that time. Mm, what's wrong? Why does the Wondering Champion who left the Pokemon League... What does the Wondering Champion who left the Pokemon League months ago need from us? Briefly, I have this request! Tell us about the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon! Are you talking about Zekrom or Reshiram? And why was sudden interest? Hmm. Moments ago, there was a troublemaker named Getsis. He was here. He said a trainer named N had reawoken Reshiram. Yes! We are aware of this. That trainer called N apparently told Joe to search for the other legendary dragon type Pokemon. Hmm. Let me check if I got that straight. This N, or what you have, presumes there are presumes to set the two dragon type Pokemon against each other in battle. Hmm. To test his convictions. Oh no! The dragon type Pokemon get along so well! That's right, Iris. Uh, that's right, Iris! The ones who make Pokemon battle are really the trainers! And it's so that trainers and Pokemon can get to know each other better! I'm going to the Pokemon League! No, I should say in this case that I'm returning to the Pokemon League! Of course I'll defeat N! And teach him a lesson in beauty, the beauty of this world where Pokemon and trainers live together in harmony. 
Joe, I await your arrival. Once you've obtained the Overlucid Gym Badge, come to the league. The Overlucid Gym Leader is tough. Take care. Farewell. I'm counting on you, Drayden and Iris. Aw, oh, he's gone. Is he okay? He looked kind of scary. Don't worry. Mm, don't worry, Iris. He's the strongest trainer in all of Unova. I'm sure he's got a plan. Well, Joe, come to my house. As Aldous said, I will tell you everything I can about the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. Iris, shut away. You bet. If it's over at Lucid City, I know everything. I know it like the back of my own hand. I can take you anywhere. As for the story of Zekimom and Reshiram, well, we'll tell you what we know. That's all we can tell you. This way! That way! Now, if I remember correctly, if I talk to you... The hopes of the ancient people are put into this melody. I will bring them back to us now. There it is. So I can add, uh, this is one of those, uh, this is one of those weird places where if you talk to people playing music, you can add the, you can add that music to the original soundtrack of this city. And that is one of the coolest features ever. If you if you want to bring anything back in Sword and Shield, please bring this back. Please bring this back. This specific thing where if you talk to someone who's like holding a drum or holding a guitar, uh, you know, next to a drum kit or holding some guitars or something like uh, holding a guitar or something like that, and you can just talk to them and they'll start playing their guitar and it adds to the background of the town that you're the background music of the town you're in. That's awesome. Do that more. That'd be so cool if people could do that more. That's just just all I want in this world is to, for the Pokemon music to sound at its best. Because I love music. That's I, I love the music of these games. It just really adds so much to this event, uh, these adventures that we do with Pokemon. Right. Now, I know there's some Amoongus encounters. Amoongus and the Fungus here, encounters here. I don't count those as to my original route encounters. But I do count this. Gligger. Uh, let me just uh, heal myself here, please, Gligar. More milk. And then I can bug bush you again. Yeah, let's bug bush you again. And one more time should be good enough for me to catch you. Or at least put you in the red. There you go. Cotton spore. Lowers my speed. That's fine. I think this is the last encounter I can get. Uh, before, like... I mean, there's actually... No, wait. There's a few more encounters I can get. Because I can go to about 18 or 19 as well.
Get back in the ball, please, uh, Shocks. Will you miss for Toad? Because Toad's got more HP than uh, you right now. Go on. Go and get him. Go and get little bro. Right now, that's what I call me. That's what we call Gluga. But I don't know what to call this. Just get him. Oh, that's time it hit five. And we're using speed up because it is not even bouncing at this moment in time. This is not even bouncing right now, and it's kind of annoying. It's not even bouncing, and like it's in the red. I can't. I don't have anyone to give it status elements. So I have nothing that I can do, other than just const. There we go. Other than just constantly throw. There we go. We have Gliscor. I think I could call you like Little Sis. Because you're a girl. Because I call, I call, I used to call my li little sis. Is every one of these um, still a fungus or a moongus? Yeah, still a fungus, still a moongus, still all here. Well, that's the end of encounters for now. The next thing to do would be to get our gym badge from Over Lucid City. And then I guess maybe we'd probably, uh, uh, we could go to the Pokemon League after that. Should we get this story out of the way now? I know we've already gone like 30 minutes, but I kind of want to get this out of the way. So it's done with and then next episode we can decide what to do whether we decide to go back to route 18 and 19 and take on the gym or not just a little further this is it all right I'll explain Hmm, what you're holding there is a dark stone. Zekrom, who is likely to be awoken from the dark stone, and Reshiram, who has already been awoken from the light stone, uh, were once the same Pokemon. That single dragon type Pokemon, uh, among with the twin heroes, that brought this new region into being. And uh, Pokemon and people lived happily. -y. One day, however, the uh, twin heroes, the older brother who sought truth, and the younger brother who sought ideals, began to argue about how to decide which one of them was right. The single dragon type Pokemon that had spent all this time with them split its body into two. One sided with the older brother and one sided with the younger brother. The other sided with the younger brother. In pursuit of truth, the white dragon type Pokemon uh, sought into Usher a, a new and better world. Its name was Reshiram. And the other black dragon type Pokemon who sought ideals and ushered a new to usher them into a new world, a world of hope. Its name was Zekrom. Because the two of them 
Uh, were once the same original entity, their battle raged endlessly. And neither one could be the declared the winner. They, exist, they simply exhausted each other. Or well, themselves, sorry. The Twin Heroes proclaimed that no side was particularly right or wrong and, and ceased the conflict. But, but! The Twin Heroes' sons began to battle again, and in an instant later, Sekrom and Reshiram destroyed Unova with fire and lightning! Then they disappeared. But, but, if people and Poke if people work with Pokemon in the right way, then we don't have to worry about the, the world being destroyed anymore. I mean, Zekrom and Reshiram worked hard for everyone to, and made this new region. So, it should be alright, I think. True, Pokemon cannot speak. People may hurt Pokemon even more, imposing their selfish thoughts upon them. But no matter people, uh, no matter what, people and Pokemon believe in each other and need each other, and will continue to live together. Yeah. So I'm never going to forgive Team Plasma for trying to separate Pokemon and us. Sorry, we got a bit off topic there in the end, but we got through the story, all right. But that's everything we know. Unfortunately, we don't know how to break the legendary dragon type Pokemon. I have made a promise that you must win this badge from the Overlucid City Gym. Iris, you go and be Joe's opponent at the Pokemon Gym. Yay! Look out, I'm really strong! Just like Drayden! Alright! So, that is where I'm gonna end off today's episode. Food. In, to, uh, in the next episode, we will go to um, go and get at I guess uh, we'll go and get a uh, gym badge. Yeah, we're gonna get our final gym badge, and then it, uh, in the next, uh, and then maybe if we have time in the next episode, we'll all so go into get encounters for about eighteen and nineteen. But if not, we'll do that in the next next episode. Now, the next episode should be a long... Uh, will be a long one like this one. Because the fact is, basically, well... That gym is, like, long, hard, and I get lost in there, like, all the time. I much prefer the Black 2, White 2 gym... Than the one that we have here, uh, in Black and White. Just want to say that. Anyway, until next time, I am Lantern Joe... Mean to let Pokemon get to Lazar, everybody get Pokemon, Sword and Shield, and good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when new videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, and you'll be able to get news about the channel, new videos, and so much more as well. And if you want to watch some more videos, there should be some in the top right and top left hand corner of this video. But until next time, from me, Joe, and from Lantern as well, we'll see you again.